Hey guys, and welcome to another tutorial. I'm starting off with a base paint of acrylic folk art. It's an ice blue paint, I believe, and it is going to go on our base, so underneath the ice, it's not just silver. I did the same thing for the Warbler Pauldron as well. I didn't bother with a prime of wood glue just because it's all going to be covered up with ice anyway. I just didn't want it to be tan underneath the ice. For this next part, I bought a pack of six fairy LED lights from Amazon. Uh, they come in different colors. I got these for about $8, I believe. They're relatively cheap and you can cut off the excess of what you don't need. And you also don't have to worry about wiring and dealing with circuits for making your own LEDs. That is also an option, but I went for the quick and cheap way of doing it. Next is everybody's favorite part, resin casting my own gems. What you're seeing here is me sprinkling iridescent flakes. You can get them for like $2 at a craft store, Joanne Hobby Lobby. I'm also using a two-part resin from Hobby Lobby. I used a 40% off coupon, so I got it for like 10 bucks. It's a little on the high side. You could probably invest in a larger bottle for more bang for your buck. I'm also tinting my resin with Pearl FX pigment. You can use mica pigments or any other thing that's on hand. The same stuff for soap dyeing and all kinds of stuff works. And you can get it all on Amazon or at your local craft store. For dyeing plastic, I, we use transparent warbler, we boil some water, we put in a fabric blue dye packet into the aluminum pan with the boiling water, and then we put the warbler. It's kind of like boiling noodles to the same effect, it, it literally noodles, so and it takes in the dye. The longer you leave it in there, the more pigment it'll take in, so you can also make an ombre effect if you wish. What I'm doing here is I have cut them into shape. You can even bend them because like once it cools back down, it becomes a rigid hard plastic again. And I am using hot glue to just place them on in places I want. Be careful with the hot glue though because it does reactivate the warbler. So it kind of goes back into noodle form on the ends. So just be wary of that. For attaching the resin gems to the bracer, I just use more hot glue. And the only problem I would have with this is I would add more LED berries the next time I do this just to give it a better lighting effect during the daytime. In my dim light of my craft room, it looks fine and nice and bright, but in the daylight it was kind of hard to see them glow, which was really disappointing for the amount of work that was put into it. I would recommend two to three LED berries per gem. And now for the, my favorite part of the costume. It is an ice pauldron. And what I did was I took more of that transparent warbler that was dyed and I just cut it up randomly, took some super glue on the edges of it and puzzle pieced it together. I really got vibes of stained glass, just like putting pieces together. It was really kind of fun and I would do this again, definitely. Uh, for the bottom, I did the mistake of using hot glue, and you can really see it, and then I decided, hey, let's, let's do super glue like a smart person, and so I finished off the pauldron like that. Also towards the top, it started kind of going in all different directions, so I used a heat gun very carefully and heat shaped it into a 
and more desirable structure. Uh, don't do too much because it will melt the warbler. For this part, I just took some cellophane, like, they use it for gift baskets, I believe, is its primary use. You can make fairy wings out of it, but it makes a really good diffuser, and it really kind of looks like shiny ice from the North Pole or something. I don't know, I just thought it looked cool, and I really liked the effect it came with. And it hit my LEDs, so that was pretty sweet. The only problem was, is you can't tell, but I forgot to put my LEDs inside of this. I didn't record it because I was frustrated and I ended up opening up the back near the base of the pauldron, just kind of ripped it open and then stuffed uh, LEDs in to the best of my ability with a sculpting spatula. The warbler pieces needed prime before I painted them, so I went ahead and primed them with wood glue like you're seeing here and then I did a base paint of black and then I dry brushed silver acrylic paint on top of it. For how I hid my battery packs and how everything attached to the end, I'm gonna be making a separate video. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Here's the finished product of the costume if you're interested. You can go over to my Patreon or my Instagram page under LaRue and Cosplay to check it out. Anyway, thank you to my patrons as always, Sam Wells, Marie Holt, Eric Atwood, Michelle Nieves, and Kelly Hampton. Without their continued support, I honestly don't think I'd be where I am today. So thank you guys so very much. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!